Hi all, good morning, good afternoon or good evening based on wherever you are placed or whenever you are watching this. My name is Saurav Dhani and we'll be talking about uh, how do you connect your container to Visual Studio Code in this particular video. If you have already following the series, what we have done is we have installed the Docker, then we have downloaded an image, then we have built a container and now once our container is ready, we need to start using it in VS code so that we can customize uh, the or create extension based on our customer requirements so in this video we'll talk about that so if you remember in the last video where we created the container I specifically said that store the settings uh, that you have generated as a PowerShell output so that you can use it going forward these are my settings that I have for my demo container that I built so let's start our VS code and start using uh, start trying to connect that to our container that we have so once I do that let me do a control shift P and AL go which is for new project so once I do AL go that's the path where the uh, extension will be saved if you want to change it go ahead and change it once I hit OK, then the next question that it asks is what is my target platform? And the target platform depends on which Dynamics Nav or Business Central image and container that you have. 5.0 goes with the uh, 2020 release wave 1, which is also called as Business Central 16. 4.0 is for Business Central 15, which is also called as 2019 release wave 2. 3.0 is for Business Central 14, 2.0 is for Business Central 13, and 1.0 for NAV 2018. So if you have seen the previous videos, I downloaded Business Central 16 image and build a container on that. So I'll be using 5.0. So let's click on that and start generating the files that are required. The next question is, where is your server? Are you doing your uh, development against a cloud sandbox or against your own server because the docker is on my machine I'll choose my own server and then I'll skip right now the username and password and we'll talk about it in a minute so here's my launch file which connects my Visual Studio code to the database or to the service tier and there are some parameters that I need to change here the first one being the server so let's go ahead in my notepad and see what my dev server is so my dev server is this so I'll copy this setting and I'll make sure that it gets in here on the server you may have the name different based on the name that you have given to container so look in your settings and then do that server instance for all uh, uh, 10 business central containers uh, the service by default created is business central BC so I'll change that here I'll save that my authentication remain username password if you have seen in previous video I use that while setting up my container if you have used it to Windows then you can always change it to Windows I'll keep it as username password user password let's save that file and try to download the symbols once I do a download symbol the system will prompt you for your username and password now here you need to remember what's your username and what's your password once I key in that it actually went to the server checked for things and downloaded the requested symbols that I need for this particular project at the same time the hello world app which comes by default uh, the hello world page extension is already there so just for fun let's publish this and see are there any problems so you can do control shift P and do a publish if you do a publish there are multiple options you want to publish without debugging with debugging so I normally do without debugging so I'll do that and it will run my web client with that particular page which is specified now it again asks me for credentials 
a key in that go to sign in and as the page get loaded the the code that was written in the hello world app got uh, you know uh, came as a message window so that means now I'm able to publish my apps and this gives me a flexibility to write more apps and extensions for my customers so I guess that's all for today hope that made sense let me know your views on comments on it if you have any other questions about in business central or related to docker please let me know in the comment section if i know it i'll make sure that it makes it gets available as soon as possible if i don't know it i'll surely try to learn that skill and record a video about that so till then have a great day and see you next time thank you